and I'm also privileged to live in Germany, one of the most ecological cities, despite my building is unfortunately not powered by solar panels, where I live. But I made uh, drastical changes in my life. Uh, I've been economical since, I'm <laughs> since I know myself. We'll be always mindful of the yeah, cost of electricity, also not wasting water, or not, not going too much with the car, or uh, not eating so much outside. I usually bring my own food. <laughs> Um, and but since like since four years ago or since the beginning of Corona, I really it was a turn point in my life, and I really make really really drastic decisions. So like I don't go shopping anymore, no, and only not even for food because I have the privilege that my husband works in a restaurant, so he recycles what they don't use in the restaurant, and we eat only that. <laughs> so I don't buy food anymore. Then clothes I don't buy. Everything I've got is from my previous. Uh, shop alcoholic, uh, shop, shop, shop uh, dependent, let's call it like that. Uh, when I first came to Germany, that was my, one of my hobbies because I didn't know anybody, so I was just going from shop to shop buying stuff. That was bad, but I got cured. <laughs> so, and uh, in, in Freiburg also, there are a lot of opportunities. If you really want to um, think about this, you can uh, share clothes with people. So, this clothes sharing program, for instance, if you don't like one clothes, you can bring it out and I bring my own and we exchange. Or well, there are even people that give things for free on the internet uh, or on the street. And this goes out for other products. So there are things, basically, I don't need to buy anything there because everything I need is in my household. And I try to minimize and think if I really need something. Or I can maybe have the opportunity to find online for free or secondhand if it's not for free. So the only things basically that I buy is like toothpaste and uh, uh, hygienic, uh, hy hy yeah, things that are consumable. So things that run out and that there's no. Or but even that one you can find them sometimes <laughs> online because people buy some products and buy many different type of products and then instead of throwing them away they have this majority of sharing with others. So sometimes I have like take uh, for free some half of shampoo or half of so I really changed my mindset and I'm not ashamed or uh, yeah because there maybe for me it was mentality of shame of taking something like this or taking from the street something that doesn't belong to you. So but I really was like and even food you can save food from supermarkets. If there are supermarkets that offer food that is like almost expiring, or it doesn't look so nice anymore, it does, or it doesn't, it was not looking nice from the beginning, maybe you know, uh, 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 vegetables that are carrot that is not so straight and stuff like that. So I, I, I also use that. And car sharing is very popular there. Uh, I, don't, I don't own a car. I don't want to have a car. I don't want to drive. My husband has a car. So sometimes when we travel far away, we do travel with the car, but otherwise I either go with public transportation or I walk, and I like to walk a lot. Uh, in Frankfurt, there are a lot of bicycles, so this is another thing. There, there's a whole infrastructure to bicycle in, within reach. And what other things that uh, other decisions? Ah, even I have, I can recycle even presents or stuff like that. I mean, not that I would give somebody a present that is old, but I, uh, I still have some new stuff, let's say. This is also something that I learned from my parents somehow, that then you receive something from somebody and you don't say that you don't like it or give it back, so maybe you keep it and then when you have the opportunity to give it to someone that you think that he might like it, so you bring out something that, oh, it's new, it's for you, but yeah, I didn't buy it especially for you, to be honest. It's like, secretly Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> like, what I'm even honest about is so yeah. people that are in my lifestyle, they know me, so whoever doesn't like it, doesn't like it, so this is the way I am, or this is the way I decide to live. So I think there's still many things that we can do about food. In Germany, what they do is community gardening a lot, where you can just volunteer your work, so anybody can come, basically, if you live in, in, in the Freiburg, if there are like three or four community gardens that are big, and we can go there, plant something without paying anything, and then you can also take anything you want. Yeah, so. Many, many 